Hello and welcome to this tutorial showing you exactly how to use the computer program Microsoft PowerPoint. This program is used mainly for making presentations, but just like with Microsoft Word and Excel, there are plenty of other applications for it too. In this video I will be showing you the key features to this program and we will show you how to get yourself up and running. So let's begin now. Okay, so the very first thing that you're going to want to do is to open up the PowerPoint presentation. So once that happens, you should see a screen that looks something like this. So we, we, uh, at the top here we've got like, well, this is the top, but, but here we've got like click to add title and click to add subtitle. So this is, this is like the first page of the presentation and you know it's the first page because it says like one, it says one, so that's like the first page. Um, but you can open up many, many more pages. Uh, we'll get onto that a bit later, but first we'll click to add title. So this is a title. What? What's the title? Oh, how to not not how how to use Microsoft PowerPoint. Okay, and subtitle. Let's click to add a subtitle. Please the above for more info so just like as above yeah so that's that's the first page but we can also um, add more things onto the first page um, I'm not really sure how to do that but maybe insert if we go to insert and then text box so if you go insert text box and then drag a text box, so we can add add uh, um, we can add more information if we want onto this first page. So what should we write? Um, more information. So we've just added more information onto this first page. Um, like this is quite plain, like it's because it's black black and white which is pretty plain, but you can, you're can welcome to add some colour. So if you click on one of the text boxes that you made, let's, let's do this, we can change the two. So if you highlight the two by clicking and dragging with your mouse, you can then go, go like here and then we can change the font. So if we go and make it like orange, so it's slightly different now. So this makes it more exciting than the, just, just just your standard black and white text. So we've got a little bit of orange, a bit of colour, a bit of colour to the mix. Um, and there's, there's other features. This is very similar to the Microsoft Word and Microsoft Excel format. So you have all these options. You can change the font. You can, you can make it bold. So to prove it, if you, if you highlight the M and then press this B, so it makes it a bit thicker, a bit thicker. So that that's that's quite exciting. Um, this one's new. What's this? Text shadow. So let's add a shadow. Let's add a shadow on soft. So highlight soft like that, and then press this. So it has a nice nice little shadow effect on the text. That's that's quite good. Um, the rest of these features, as I said, if um, I went into detail in them in the uh, Word and Excel videos, so just just look to them for more information on how to use them. Um, this one's new. Arrange. Bring. Bring to front. Let's try highlighting it and see if it does anything now. Bring to front. Okay, so ignore the arrange. Thing. Um, we've discovered that, that that feature doesn't work, so just remember not to use that. We'll try quick styles. Um, okay, so this, um, as you can see, it just changes the colour of the background. So if we pick this blue one, so we have a nice blue, we have a nice blue, and the text is uh, changes colour to white. This is still the same, still orange, so that's fine. Um, so. So just make, be aware that stuff stuff happens when you mess around at the top there. Ok, 
Okay, so we've got shape fill. See if, so yeah, more colors, so you can change the color of the uh, the text box. So let's let's make this a different color. So, I don't know if you need to highlight it or not. Let's try not highlighting it. And see. Yeah, so that just changes the color. So we've got a nice blue, and we've got a nice yellow. Okay, so I think I'm happy with this first page. Um, don't want to make any more changes to that. So if you go to new slide, wait, see the drop down. Okay, let's just click, click on picture with caption. So here we could, we've just opened up a new uh, presentation slide. If you want to go back to the previous slide, you just click on this like that. But we, we, we've moved on. We've moved on from this. So we can just go here. And you can see we've got a brand new PowerPoint slide to work with. And this one is like click to add title. Um, so we'll call this page two. So we just named it page two. Let's let's make this um, a bit bit bigger. So if you if you go to this arrow here and then make it like 96, 96 font size. Um, then we can also make it italic. So we just press italic. Okay. Um, and then we can add text here if we want. Um, so. Let's put in some numbered text. Numbered text. Okay, let's just make that a big, bit bigger so everyone can see. Again, 96 is, oh no, it's too big. It's too big. It's too big. Too big. There we go, 66 is the right number. Okay, and here we can add a picture. So click, uh, oh, click icon. Okay, so that, that doesn't really work. So just just ignore that for the time being. Um, facts, so let's try and right click and then cut. So we, we can like remove like text box that we don't, we don't use or ones that don't really work. So that's something. And let's add a symbol. Let's add this one, so downward arrow, so that's that. So now that we've added a downward arrow, I think it's only fair that we add a third page. So if you remember, you go to new slide, like so, um, and the downward arrow leads, leads you straight onto this third page, like this. Um, so, so we'll go to animations. And um, let's type a text into this. Hello. And then we can make it appear. Let's make it appear. Okay. Let's try again. Okay. Um, okay, I don't know if that worked or not. I don't know what it does either, because um, the text was already here. So maybe it makes words that haven't appeared appear. So let's try and just a, no, it doesn't really do anything. Um, let's try typing another word. Another word. Let's try and highlight it. And then we'll try which one? White. Let's try and white. Oh, you can see. You can see that there's a little effect on, on another word when you press white. Okay. So. So this is this. There's loads of different animations here. So I think you can animate everything that you include, everything you add on this PowerPoint. So you can animate words, um, pictures if they work. You can an animate them. Um, so that's that's quite an interesting feature here. Um, like here, there's a like a delay and a duration. So if we increase the duration, make it four seconds. So it should it should wipe for four seconds. Let's see if it wipes for four seconds. Well, two, three, four, one, no, that wasn't four seconds. Um, oh, it's gone back to 0.05. Okay, so it doesn't want to 
play ball, so the computer is rebelling. This program is rebelling against me. Um, we knew it wouldn't be long before the computers rebelled, but thought I had a bit more time than this. Um, but but yeah, you you have all these these features. Let's let's see what this does. Trigger special condition. Mm, title one. Uh, Okay, so so that's that's that. We'll move on. Uh, nothing really happened there. Slideshow. So maybe it's we'll see we, we'll see what we've done with the slideshow. So if we, if we press from beginning. Okay, so it shows it, it puts into the full screen, and we've got a little slideshow. So let's click, and here we've got page two, and here's page three. Page trees become blank, um, even though I typed a few letters and words. Oh, there we go, you have to click again. And that's it, that's the end of the slideshow, so click to exit, and it takes you back here. So that's pretty much Microsoft PowerPoint. There's a few tabs at the top here that I haven't gone into yet, so review, so you can review stuff, and then view. You can view stuff and format. So format lets format lets you format stuff. So th that's what those three tabs do. And there's, there's just there's stuff on each one. So you just play around with it, but don't play around too hard because if you don't know what you're doing, it could uh, corrupt your whole computer, causing your computer to go into a shutdown, and it may not turn on ever again. So just bear that in mind when you're playing around with these features at the top here. But if you know what you're doing, then go for it. But if you do know what you're doing, then I don't know why you clicked on this video, because this video is really only for beginners. Um, but, you know, you, you're welcome to help um, those that are new to this program. Just type in a comment in this video, on this video, and just help us all out, really. Okay, so that's pretty much Microsoft PowerPoints. Um, I'm not sure if there's any other features that I would need to show you. I believe that is everything. So that has been the complete guide showing you exactly how to use Microsoft PowerPoint. After following this video down to the T, you should now have a full understanding of how to use the program. If there is any other tutorials that you require help with, or ones that you are interested in learning about and feel that I'm the best person to teach you about it, then please leave your suggestion down in the comment section and I will see what I can do for you. Until next time, see you later.